What's going on everybody? It's the Hook Cam back again with another film breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at how exactly Willie Gay is going to fit into this Kansas City Chiefs defense. Uh, how he can help, what he did in college that I really liked, and really what he brings to the team as a whole. So, with all that being said, before I dive into the good stuff, you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to my channel, The Hook Cam, as well as the Jackson Kruger Sports, that would mean the world to both of us. Uh, we're both cranking out content left and right. I am busy as hell, but I am doing my best. Uh, I got to get on it more. I got to start pumping out some more content here, especially with football season coming right down the pipe for us. So, with all that being said, let's take a look at how Willie Gay fits into this Chiefs defense. To start, what I did is I kind of looked at some games that I felt the Chiefs' rush defense was a little bit lacking and really kind of where uh, were they not as good. And I think that this team really tightened everything down once it came to the postseason. I don't really think that that's you know, a point of contention. I think that a lot of people would agree. They played very, very sound, very gap sound, very smart technical football, and that's why they won the Super Bowl. Um, now, earlier in the season, they had a game against the Indianapolis Colts, which I have here. They had a game against the Texans, game against the Titans, where teams really seemed like they ran the rock at will. And I think that that was kind of the knock on Kansas City going into this postseason, and that's why that Tennessee game was going to be really, really interesting to watch. And they did a great job of um, hungering down and playing good defense. Now, what I notice here from Kansas City, and there are a couple of things that I do need to say. The Colts are doing a lot of things here, and so do the Texans, and so do the Titans, that are going to throw off your backers, right? Right off the bat, um, offensive line makes it look like we're they're, they're running inside zone, no question about that. We have a wham here. We're coming right down the pipe with this running back right here. Now, I think that our linebackers open up a little bit, but we have to remember they're playing gap sound in this situation, right? So we have this defensive lineman who's playing on the inside shoulder of this guard. We're going to fill right here with 56, and then with 54, we're going to fill in this backside A gap. Now, what... I would want to see and what I would imagine that defensive coordinator wise what you want to see is you want to see an aggressive step forward and you want to see a fill into this gap and with 56 and 54 in this situation it looks like they're a little bit hesitant which I understand because if this running back bounces and he is reading the backers he's going to bounce it backside he's going to crease it front side he's going to do something to make you wrong but with that being said you have other guys on the defense to help you with that right you have fill guys we have fill guys coming on the outside to keep contained we have defensive ends who are helping keep contained with that being said, we want to see linebackers filling into this gap, which I noticed a little bit of a, a lacking in that sense with the Chiefs linebackers, especially in this game against Indianapolis. And Indianapolis does a really good job of mixing up their run looks, of doing a good job of disguising their inside zone. They run a lot of the same play, but they run it a lot of different ways, just like every good NFL team does. Now, in this situation, again, 54 and 56, two backers in the box. As soon as we see that turn, right, we want to see backers filling right now, man. We got to get up there. We got to fill these gaps so they don't have clean running lanes to run through, which is exactly what happens right here for Marlon Mack. Right, a 54 is coming up. I believe his name is Damian Wilson. We're filling this gap right now. It could be a different story. We work right here. We're also not, again, we didn't have the best defensive line play in the regular season as they did in the postseason. Postseason defensive line with the Chiefs compared to uh, regular season were two different animals, right? But again, we're still a little hesitant with our backers. We're floating instead of triggering and getting up into that gap. And that's why this run is able to go for five, six, seven yards. And it's not necessarily that the Chiefs give up these big chunk plays when teams are running the rock against them, because that's not the case. A a lot of times it's teams that just chunk down the field five six yards 10 11 yards three four yards next thing you know you're in some trouble now with this play against the Texans, once again, it's just really that hesitation off the snap from these Chiefs linebackers. Um, you can see right here, it's not necessarily that they're flat-footed, but still we would want to see them triggering um, and trying to get up and trigger into that gap and really create just a wall right here for this running back. So that way we don't really have that decision of where to go to. It's very easy for 23 in this situation, Carlos Hyde, to make that crease and to make that cut. Now if as a linebacker we're coming up right here and we're triggering and we're stopping 87 in his tracks in the gap, now instead of bouncing it right here into this backside B gap, now we're bouncing all the way outside and we have a corner or safety here to help contain as we can see as he flows across that formation. So there's a lot of things that tie into a defense and really with where a backer can play. And backers are the teeth of that defense, man. You have a lot of guys who are gap fillers up front. You know, every once in a while you have just a supreme athlete like uh, Aaron Donald, like Chris Jones, who can really mess up a game plan. But for the most part, your cats up front, hey, we're there to fill gaps, right? We're there to open up lanes for our linebackers. Um, you know, another thing that Willie Gay, I think, brings to this team is his versatility. So in this situation, I remember with this snap, we see Sorensen, who had a phenomenal playoffs, no shade towards him. But I think that Willie Gay is 
pretty athletic. And I think that in it, before the Chiefs just go and they throw uh, Sorensen out there for a snap at Mike, I would imagine that they're going to try and, hey, let's see if Willie Gay can get this thing done, right? He's fast. He's athletic. We'll see some college clips from him in a second um, where he's, you know, just covering an absurd amount of yardage. But I think that before, it gives them a little bit of flexibility in terms of what they can do personnel-wise. Now, in this situation right here with what we see uh, from the Tennessee Titans, it looks like they're just running really easy single back power. Um, but again, we're not triggering fast enough with these linebackers, right? See, we're kind of getting caught. We're not filling our gap. And again, this is what I would imagine. I don't have their defensive game plan. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but I would imagine that we want to fill here. We want to fill here and we want to fill here. So that way every running lane is stuffed up, but instead 53 kind of gets caught working over the top, which I understand because it looks like this ball is going to bounce out this way. So now you're working over here trying to fill on the backside. But instead, what happens, Derrick Henry does a good job following his pull and then creasing this thing backside. 53's caught, and now we're making an attack. And once again, it's not these big gains. It's just these five, six, seven, eight yard gains that can end up really hurting a defense throughout the entirety of a game. Now, let's get to Willie Gay. What does he do well? What does he bring to this defense? First things first, he's a freak athlete. This dude is an absolute study at a phenomenal combine. I think he's really good in pass coverage. He covers a lot of yardage. Right here, really simple. He's just working in front of number three, reads the quarterback the whole way, takes this thing to the house. He's an absolute freak. I mean, look at this cat run. We saw his 40 was insane at the combine. Just an absolute stud. This play really, really stood out to me. So Louisville's going to run a speed option here, right? Boom, we're working here. We have our running back right here on the backside. Like, very old school speed option. We're going to option the end man on the line of scrimmage. We have to work up. The defense that Mississippi State is running is built to get beat by the speed option. Because what's going to happen here is we're going to option this cat. We're going to work up to the Mike linebacker. And now we have everybody accounted for. Okay, really good job by our defensive end taking that quarterback, but Willie Gay getting over the top of this of this block right here on third and four too, man. This is a big down. Watch him get over the top of this thing and then close on this running back for zero game. Sheds that block, working upfield, getting his helmet across, working to hit that ball. Just a phenomenal job from Willie Gay. This dude, when he's playing well and when he's playing healthy, is an absolute freak. And this play right here, man, you know, I've talked a lot about defensively on my channel, how I love to see guys going for the rock, going for that turnover, and that's exactly what Gay does on this situation, right? We're, I mean, look at look at this dude's speed. This guy is a very legit athlete. Now, receiver does lose his shoe, runs right out of his shoe. But with that being said, watch Willie Gay here coming, stripping that ball out, changing momentum for his team. And I think that he's going to continuously do stuff like that in the NFL. Right? I don't know if it'll be to that extent, but I do think that he will have that impact for this Chiefs defense. I think that he's going to be that fast athletic linebacker who can cover gaps. He's a big dude. Here's just another example of his athleticism. Different snap here from Louisville where they are trying to run that speed option, right? Optioning off this guy, Willie Gay, is supposed to get blocked by 55. Now, he's at a disadvantage here because we got two guys outside. Ten's going to end up getting this rock, and that's a lot of space to cover. But watch what Willie Gay does on this and talking about his athleticism, right? Most dudes are getting cut here and they're falling down. He does a great job with his body control in air, trying to get that foot down and then just eating up yardage and trying to make a play on this ball carrier. So with all that being said, guys, uh, that's all I got for you today. That's really what I think Willie Gay brings to the table for this Chiefs team. Um, phenomenal athlete. I I'm really excited to see where he fits in because I think that he could be a, uh, I would imagine he'd be a day one guy. I've, I've read a couple of reports that said he's he's doing very well in the Chiefs training camp so far. So I'm excited to see what happens there. Chiefs fans, man, thank you guys for the support. No secret that you guys are a, a big part of my channel. So I'm very excited to see how the Chiefs do on Thursday. Thinking about putting out a little prediction video. So. With all that being said, guys, I'm the Hook Cam. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and send it to a friend. That would just mean the world to me. Hopefully, I can brighten their day. Um, but that's all I got for you guys today. Stay safe. Wash those hands. Hopefully, uh, we can see some real-time football this year. Chiefs fans, get, get as loud as you can, man. 16,000 in Arrowhead. We know we're going to pack it to the gills, man. I'm, I'm excited for that. So, with all that being said, guys, I'm the Hook Cam. That's all I got for you today, and I will see you next time.